Hey guys, how you doing? Thought I'd jump on live and say hello, do a little bit of a Q&A, talk about a few carnivore things here and there, and uh, yeah, generally just have a chat. So as you're coming in, could you do me a favor? Let me know where you're coming in from. Say hello. Let me know if you can hear me and uh, that I'm not just here talking to myself. And uh, give the like button a smash as well, uh, if you don't mind. And that will help bring other people in too. We've got four people in so far. So hello to you. Uh, six people, seven people, eight people. Excellent. This is awesome. Okay, where are you coming in from, guys? Uh, let me know. And uh, let's, uh, let's just chat about all things carnivore. So good to see you. Uh, Paul Hill, how are you doing? Uh, beaming in from far north Queensland. Uh, good to see you, Paul. And coming in from Melbourne. Okay, so that's two Australians so far. How are you doing, Anne? Okay. Can hear you really well. Sally says from Lucas, Texas. Uh, we've got uh, Kim coming in from Virginia. Mike from Tasmania. How are you doing, Mike? Um, wow, three Australians in the house so far. Um, Ted Parry from Kaysville, Utah. Uh, thanks for letting me know, Ted. Um, Chris in real life from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, and we've got Rob listening from San Diego. How are you doing? Uh, we've got Michelle from Lakewood, Los Angeles. Uh, what do we got here? Todd. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in, Todd, uh, from Dallas, Texas. Uh, we've got Martin from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Irene, how are you doing? We've got uh, Lewis, the mind scrambler from Minnesota. How are you doing? We've got Brooke coming in from uh, Oregon Coast. How are you doing, Brooke? And uh, we've got Liz from uh, Denmark. How are you doing, Liz? Uh, Jono from the UK, uh, Nomadman777 from Port Aransas, Aransas Beach, Texas, and Christine from Lancashire. How are you doing, Christine? Okay, and we've got TJ Riley from Canada. Just finished eating some beef burger patties on the air fryer. I use the ground pork rinds as breadcrumbs, egg binder, and some salt. Very nice. Sounds awesome. Okay, someone coming in from Facebook. How are you doing? Unfortunately, because of Facebook's privacy settings, it doesn't send through your username. It just says Facebook user. So if you're commenting from Facebook, please uh, please chuck your name in front of it or your first name or your nickname or whatever you want to do in front of it so I can uh, give you a shout out. Uh, Cherie, uh, I wasn't ready because you're not in my time zone. <laughs> And we've got Sandra coming in from Chicago. How are you all doing? Good to see you. So we've got 45 people in the stream, 47 people in the stream so far. If you haven't smashed like, please do that. That'll help bring some more people in. If you've got any questions, put a queue in front of your question. You've got any discussion points you want to raise or you want me to talk about, please put a queue in front of those and we can I can easily find those and we can talk about them. Um, and other than that, uh, one thing that I wanted to uh, mention to you, uh, James, how are you doing? Um, I wanted to mention that um, I'm gathering more people um, all the time for interviews. And the reason I titled this help is because I just wanted to mention at the start that if you'd like to um, be featured in one of my interviews, please, uh, please uh, let me know. Um, I'll get in touch with you and we'll set up a time that works for you. Um, just shoot me an email at realzerocarb at gmail.com. And after this live stream, the first link in the description, I've got five minutes of carnivore motivation for you if you haven't seen that already. Um, and, uh, you know, that might motivate you to, uh, to let me know that you want to come on to and share your story. All right. So we've got, uh, Jack coming in from the Republic. How are you doing? We've got uh, Melisandre, 
from Austin, Texas, on the bus headed to visit a friend in hospital after an accident. Oh, no. Um, I hope your friend's doing okay, Melisandra. Um, Karen, hello. How you doing? John, how you doing? Um, and we've got Capwalks. How you doing? Mike, how's things? No, Collagen Babe uh, from Vancouver. How you doing? Um, Kara from uh, Central Illinois. And uh, John, Dave is an awesome interviewer. Thank you so much, John. That's very kind of you to say. And uh, again, after this live stream, please check out the five minutes of Carnival Motivation. John is featured in that video. Um, so, uh, yeah, guys, open to talking about anything this morning. So if you've got questions, please uh, put a cue in there. Okay, fantastic. We've got a question already from Paul Hill. Uh, no, no carnival questions. Starting YouTube. Any advice? Starting YouTube. Um, so my advice is um, one thing when you're starting is that you're going to be very focused on trying to get all your videos perfect and get the, you know, the best videos out there and whatever. And I would say when you're starting YouTube, don't worry about being perfect. Um, one of the things that uh, can derail you is perfectionism. And what's perfect to you is not going to be necessarily what the audience want to watch, sadly. So, um, you know, you could spend three days working on this masterpiece, put it out, and no one's going to be interested in it. Um, so my advice would be when you're starting a channel, put out as much content as you can, as often as you can, and your audience that you'll just start to build naturally because you're putting content out will give you an indication of which content is good and which isn't. And, you know, to give you an example, videos that I still put out that I think this is going to do amazing, everyone's going to love this, and it doesn't do well. And I'll put out other videos and I'll think, oh, I don't think this is not going to be a video that people are going to be interested in. And suddenly, bang, 100,000 views. Um, it's just, you. It, it's a bit of a lottery. So the way you win the lottery is just to try as much as possible. And yeah, so just get as many videos out there as you can. Talk about everything about Carnivore. Um, if, if it's going to be a Carnivore channel or whatever the channel topic is, just Talk about it from as many different angles as you can. Um, I hope that helps, Paul. Um, so Karen, saw the video already. It's great. Thank you, Karen, for watching. Uh, Mike, watch Lisa this morning. What an amazing story she had to tell. Yeah, it was a, such an awesome story. And, uh, you know, as an interviewee, she's, uh, she's, she's kind of the prized interviewee you can ask for, you know, like, uh, she, she laughed at my bad jokes and everything. It was awesome. Um, <laughs> the collagen babe just started my carnivore journey, more keto now, whatever you need to do to get through it is, uh, you know, to just get by day by day is important. So if you need to, if you need to be more keto, then you need to be more keto. Just um, get by day by day and you'll get better day by day and you'll feel better day by day and your resolve will get better day by day. Um, good luck with that, collagen babe. Mark, uh, I keep telling Bernard MD, he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cherie, Paul, be yourself. Yeah, that's very good advice, right? So... Don't don't try and have, be, have a persona or anything. Just be yourself, and again, you'll you'll get the audience that you know is attracted to you being natural. You know, uh, more of an audience is going to be attracted to the naturalness of you than um, you know playing some kind of character. Uh, Elizabeth, South, uh, coming from Southwest Island. How are you doing, Elizabeth? Um, and, cap walks dave do you have a daily grams of protein goal or a protein fat ratio no i don't think about any of it um i just it tastes good so i'm i'm happy with that you know so i know i'm getting enough protein because you know i'm maintaining muscle mass that i didn't even try to build that just came on 
and um you know uh, i guess i'm getting the right ratios of protein and fat because i don't feel hungry and um so yeah i just leave it at that the only thing that i worry about is not putting any carbs in there and uh so yeah that's the only counting i do um okay and uh jack's also coming in from cork how are you doing jack um okay and we've got winter lion full of bs bellshine get surprised love your channel cheers winter lion uh hazel coming in from central scotland uh how are you doing i wish i could put it on a scottish accent but it's just gone i can't do it um irene clauber um how are you doing irene uh yeah good advice you do you um daughter of the lion uh just a hello to the best most supportive community out there love from south carolina Cheers, uh, Daughter of the Lion. Um, okay, yeah. Irene says, I never count. Yeah. How are you doing, Soda Machine? Okay, Carnivore for Life. Hey, Dave, big thanks to your subscribers for their kind words after our chat. Uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, real, uh, thank you so much for coming on. Um Duckfield Carnivores coming in from South Australia. How are you doing? Okay. And uh, we've got 64 people in the stream at the moment. If you haven't already, please smash the like button. And uh, I will uh, I will give you a big prize. No, I won't. I'm only making that up. Um, but smash the like button. That'll bring more people in. And uh, we will uh, have a better chat with more people in the chat. Um, if you've got any questions, put a cue in front of it. Um, good question, Winter Lion. When is BS on again? Um, I'm I'm not sure. I I I, I don't want to overdo it, um, and you know I don't want to kind of force it. So I, I'm waiting for you know when that. Uh, when the uh, kind of the, the spark or whatever hits, you know, usually something will happen. I'll see something in a video or something like that. And I'll think, oh, how would Belshine react to this? Or what would she say about this or something? And that's what gets me thinking I need to make a video. So the inspiration hasn't really hit um, recently, but, uh, you know, um, I'll, I'll get something out there soon. Um, it might end up being some kind of reaction or something. Um not not quite sure yet. Wouldn't mind. Um, I, I think, um, you know, a Belshine video that was an interview style or something like that, you know, maybe Belshine and uh, Mick the Vegan, Mick Mike the Vegan in discussion or something. I think that would be pretty funny. Um, but, yeah, because I think Belshine, uh, despite them both being vegans, I think Belshine can disagree with anybody. She's pretty good at that. So... <laughs> B Plaza, love Belshine. Cheers. Uh, Duckfield Carnivore. Um, okay. Duckfield Carnivore was replying to Mark's comment. Uh, what was Mark's comment? Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a perfect poop just now, just like a snake every time. Nice, nice one. Um, yeah, Winter Lion. She's one angry vegan. It's, it's, uh, I guess it's easier to play an angry, an angry kind of, you know, not very clever person than it is to to play a well balanced person, um, <laughs> or it's funnier anyway. Um, Irene Clubber, I'm waiting for Belshine in a bikini. I that one maybe maybe that one might be in the very 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 far distant future. I'm not sure. I'm not sure anyone's ready for that. Um, <laughs> and we'll be back and forth here. Have jobs to do. Cheers. I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate being on, Anne. Um, okay. So, um, again, just a reminder, if, you, uh, if you'd if you like to be featured on the channel, I'd love to feature you. Um, please shoot me an email, realzerocarb at gmail.com, and that's zero as in Z-E-R-O or Z-E-R-O, depending on what part of the planet you live on. And, um, you know, I've got to say that, uh, you know, with me living in Japan 
and kind of uh, American English in Japan being the predominant version of English. Um, I seem to have got more used to saying Z than Z. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, some of my habits have been. And having this channel, um, I've got, uh, you know, someone will say kilograms to me. And uh, even though that's my kind of native way of measuring weight, um, I now kind of automatically uh, convert that into pounds in my head going, oh, how many pounds is that? Rather than going, oh, that many kilos. Yeah. So um, John says, any plans to do the Friday lives again with Sean and Kip? Um, yeah, hopefully we'll have something coming up. Um, I'm not sure of Sean and Kip's schedules at this stage, but um, yeah, hopefully we will have something come up. We we kind of had a bit of a break over Christmas and have we have been uh, a bit slower to restart. But uh, hopefully we'll get going with that again. I uh, I really enjoy those. So uh, yeah, uh, DC, how you doing? Thanks for um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll be seeing you later today. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm looking forward to answering questions badly as usual. Um, I'm very good at answering questions incorrectly, so I'll uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Winter Lion, um, I get a good laugh every time watching Bell Shine. Cheers, Winter Lion. Um, okay, so Marion Borg, I don't force drinking water, just drink when thirsty. Urine has been a bit brownish. Any ideas why carnivore three months? Um, I, I, I would be concerned if it's, um, if it's a bit brownish only because. I've experienced that a few times and it's always been after a heavy, heavy, heavy drinking session. Um, so, uh, yeah, obviously that hasn't been recently. Um, but, um, yeah, I would be a little bit concerned about dehydration and things like that. Um, so I would be, uh, I would be trying to drink more water. Um, especially when you've like, first wake up in the morning i'm guessing that's when it would be most brownish so i would i would be uh getting more water down me then um other than that if that still continues after you're drinking more water i would i would be going to see the doctor about that just to get that checked um john coming in from wales how you doing john um Melisandre, Belshine initials BS. Uh, that was intentional. That was intentional because originally I was going to uh, have Belshine have her own TV show or video show or YouTube show called Vegan BS. So I, that was the reason I chose her name. But uh, you know, we I, I didn't go with the um, I didn't go with the 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 kind of dedicated video for her, but. Um, I am thinking about moving her onto her own channel. So I may, that's something I may do as well. So, and that might facilitate more vid Bellshine videos. Um, okay. And Anne saying, has anyone seen Kent Carnival's latest videos, parts one and two? Please go support him if you can. An irrational vegan couple has attacked him in a video. They have an agenda. Yeah, uh, I would recommend going watching that. And Lee has Lee from Kent Carnivore has had some banger videos coming out recently, so definitely go and check those out. Um, okay, <laughs> and DC is laughing at my inability to answer questions. <laughs> um, and Cordelia, how you doing? Coming in from Albany, New York, or Albany, New York? Sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, Okay, and yeah, Anne mentions brownish urine can be a sign of blood. So that would be, yeah, I would be considering a visit to the doctor. Um, hey, Mark, how are you doing? Okay, John's got a question. Dave, do you do any electrolytes? I've been drinking Element in the evening before bed, and it has really helped with sleeping better. Um, I don't do electrolytes. I, I just salt everything liberally. Um and uh, I'm, 
I feel like everything's okay. Um, but uh, yeah, the the salt I've got, uh, I'm having, it's got some, you know, it's got potassium in it and stuff. So I'm just kind of going with that. Um, but it's something that I, I need to keep an eye on and I need to think about going forward. But other than, other than the salt, the pink salt, no. Um, but the sleeping better is always a good thing. So any improvements to my sleep. Um, so I do need to think about, uh, whether I need to add anything in. Um, okay. Brooke, anyone have trouble with that? Um, ah, here we go. Anyone have trouble with back and leg spasms when mineral intake has been great. Um, I'm in interested to hear other people's thoughts on this one. Um, for me, um, the spasm stopped as soon as I, um, or the cramps, whenever I have got had enough salt. So, um, yeah, uh, for me, it's been just, that's my indication that there's not enough salt. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear everyone else's thoughts on this. Um, and, and saying, yes, uh, Lee of Kent Carnivore has amazing creativity, certainly worth visiting, definitely. Um, and uh, B Plazas, please have Belshine own channel. Yeah, um, I, I may uh, I may have to do that. Um, so I'm I'm still kind of in a bit of a uh, a testing thing of phase with my current channel now, and the phase I'm in at the moment is just uh, putting out more than one video a day just to see how it goes as far as how whether those videos get engagement or not at different times. Um, but, uh, you know, when things calm down with that a little bit, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably move her over and whatever, to be honest, I really enjoy making the Belshine videos. I enjoy writing the kind of crazy things she's going to say. And, you know, when I write something and, um, it's something that I write and then it gives me a giggle and I know it's going to be, um, something that you know, other people will probably laugh at. So that kind of gives me a, that, that gives me a very motivated feeling for doing it. And it, I like the filming part of it because, you know, filming, I'll, you know, add in bits that I uh, just on the fly that I didn't know were going to be in there. And, you know, that adds to things. So yeah, it's, it's a really enjoyable process. Um, so Lynn saying, I agree, no electrolytes now. Did at the beginning use pure boost citrus sunrise, but that, although cheaper than element, it has a tiny bit of stevia. I never used a full packet either. <laughs> Love Bell. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so hello from Canada. Let's use Bell Shine as an angry vegan. Yeah. Um, she's very good at that. Uh, <laughs> it must be the lack of nutrition from all the Pop Tarts. Um, yeah. So, uh, guys, you got any, any more questions, any more discussion points, anything you want to talk about? Um, can be anything at all, anything about, uh, Belshine, about Japan, about, uh, food, anything at all, please let me know. Um, in the meantime, a couple of things. Um, if you haven't already, after this live stream, please check out the first link in the description. And uh, that's your five minutes of carnivore motivation. If you like that, please let me know. I can put more of those videos together because I've now got uh, over 200 interviews on my channel. Um, I have a feeling I'll be approaching 300 soon. So um, it's uh, I never... I never thought I'd be able to say that, um, but uh, yeah, uh, an almost 300 interviews now. And um, yeah, so if you like the motivational ones with the little short clips of everybody, please let me know and I'll get those up. All right. Um, Winter Lion, see you. Cheers. Okay. And uh, Mark's still uh, amazed at his perfect poop. Um, <laughs> uh, Brooke says it would be hilarious if you did a bell shine channel and they got loads of kudos from the vegan community. The gullibility would be through the roof, yeah. And I, I, I have a feeling that 
you know, some people would actually probably take us seriously because sadly, um, you know, the way things are going these days, um, some people actually have a, a bell shine type attitude normally. Uh, Mike says, all you need is salt. There is no need for electrolyte supplements. Element in particular has poor ratios. Um, yeah, I, I kind of felt like there, there wasn't as much, um, there, there wasn't as much of the electrolytes in a serve of element as I, as I thought there would be when I ordered my one box before they said, Hey, we're not shipping overseas anymore. So I, I probably wouldn't order, uh, wouldn't have ordered another box anyway. Um, Paul, have you been to watch sumo wrestling live? Yeah, I think I've seen it live maybe twice, and it's okay. But it's one of those things. It's like baseball for me. I don't. I haven't been recently. Um, when I went, I never really went for the actual game or the match. I, I went for, you know, the social point of view and, you know, being able to drink with my friends while I was watching it. So it was never it was never about the sport of the match for me. It was always about, you know, the social side of things. Um, okay. Darkfield Carnivore says, pinch the skin on the back of a flat hand. When released, it should instantly snap back without a trace. If not, you're dehydrated. Okay. Yeah, I'm not dehydrated. Okay. Probably probably took more than a complete snap back, but I don't think I'm dehydrated. Uh, DC says, the five-minute motivation is a great idea, Dave. Che cheers, DC. Um, I like the motivation. Okay, nice. Darkfield Carnivore. See you later. Um, all right. And here we go. Jeanette says, how do you navigate carnivore diet with a spouse that isn't doing it? I love your channel. Thank you. Um, for me, I think the harder, it was hardest at first. Um, and at first, what was hard about it was, you know, when you've got a spouse that likes to cook for you and that's the way your spouse shows their love for you, right? Uh, is preparing a meal and things like that. It was hard for me at the start because it was hard for me to kind of say, I can't, I can't have any more as much as I want to and, and thank you and I appreciate it and I appreciate you cooking. I, I'm not, I can't eat it anymore. Um, I, I have to get control of myself. Um, I think what made that easier for me is I was fighting that battle on multiple fronts. Um, so I, I had to take care of that at home, but I also had to take care of that at work because my boss was constantly bringing in snacks and stuff that, um, you know, oh, I'm taking ice cream today. I'll take in McDonald's today for everyone. I'll take in this for everyone. There's kind of fighting the battle at work as well and having to say at work, no, don't just don't offer it to me. Just or if I say no, don't be offended. Um it's not about you. It's not about what you're offering. It's about me. It's the fact that I need to change. And I think framing it all the time and as it's not about you, it's about me. All right. I need to sort myself out. And that's why I'm turning down what you're offering. Or, you know, if I would say if someone's kind of, if you've got a spouse or a friend or, or whatever, who's saying, making, you know, kind of not so kind comments about it or whatever, I would just kind of go, well, you know, this is good practice for dealing with it, <laughs> you know, when it's going to happen to me for the rest of my life, because there's always going to be people that don't understand this. So I would just say, get used to letting that roll off your back. If people are making nasty snide comments about it or whatever, but um, yeah, I, for people offering you food, I would just be taking the tack. Look, it's not about you. It's not about the food. I appreciate it. It's all about me. And I need to get myself under control. And that's why I'm doing this. And that's why I'm saying no. Um, okay, Governor County Mike says, hit the like button. Yes, please hit the like button. We've got 72 people in here. Come on. Let's try and get to 100 people, please. That would be really nice. Okay, Sandra, I don't think Belle Shine should have her own channel. 
only because she deserves any cash flow coming from monetized videos. If starting a new channel, there would be no monetization. That's a good point. Thank you for that, Sandra. That is a good point. Um, the only the only thing that concerns me somewhat about having Belle Shine on this channel is because whenever I do it, I only create the Belle Shine videos because I enjoy doing it and I enjoy the process of creating it and the giggles that it gives me and the fact that other people enjoy it. But when I put it out, I always lose subscribers. So, you know, I mean, to be honest, I, I don't lose any sleep over the subscribers that, you know, I lose because of that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, you know. Um, but, yeah, uh, the monetization side of things is a good reason that she doesn't get her own channel. That's true. Because uh, it would take a long time to build up an audience for just Bell Shine, I think. Um, so DC says, Sumo, not into watching a beast man wrestling in G strings. Yeah, so it's not particularly. The only thing I'll say about Sumo is when you're kind of standing out in the waiting area uh, um, to go in or after it's just finished, when those guys walk past you, like just the size of those guys and like they're, they're still fit, you know, it's not like, I don't know, name your, name your obese influencer. It's not like your obese influencers kind of walking past you. Right. It's like, these guys are fit, but it's just, you know, the, their body shape is what it is because of the way they eat and, and the type of sport that it is. But they are impressive when they walk past you. They've just got this imposing kind of this imposing thing and and just the way they walk past you, you know, it 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 it's a pretty impressive sight. But uh yeah, I'm I'm not much into it either, DC. Um okay. So Paul says something I used to have in Australia is magnesium plus zinc by true protein has helped my joints and brain fog. Someone else mentioned True Protein to me recently as well. I'm not sure who it was. Um, or oh, sorry, the the supplements by True Protein. Um, Carnivore Hippie, how are you doing? Okay. Um, okay, Lynn, when I was hosting on QVC, I wanted to create a persona called Mrs. Peterson and use my Minnesota accent even thicker but they were kind of stodgy back then. Never gave it a go. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, you should you should get a channel for Mrs. Peterson. That'd be awesome. Irene Clubber, uh, use your spouse to get rid of the stuff that you uh, that you don't eat. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Nicole? How's things? And we've got John Mortimer. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? I'm very good. How are you, John? Good to see you. Um, I hope uh, I hope uh, you got some sleep. And uh, Kikoki. Mark says, you guys are changing and saving lives. Irene, people who want to sabotage will give you the garbage food, feed it to the spouse. Yeah. Um, I, I think, yeah, there is something about that as well, you know, like, um, and, and certainly not saying this is about anyone in particular spouse, but, um, you know, it can be friends and, and that kind of thing as well. When you take one step towards self-improvement and, um, you some people in your life will be like trying to sabotage you or very anti this change or always bad mouthing things you're doing or whatever and that says more about them than it that it does about you right you're taking a step to try and improve things they are threatened by that or some people are threatened by that and that's why their reaction is the way it is, because they feel like it could be they feel like they're losing you 
Um, you know, you're not going to want to be their friend anymore, whatever it happens to be, or, you know, in a relationship, it could be like, well, if they better themselves and I stay like this, are they going to go and find someone better than me or something like that? You know, it can, it can feel like that for some people sometimes I think. So, yeah. Um, you, you have to watch out for that because often when we are trying to improve ourselves, we blame ourselves when, when that kind of thing starts happening. So it's, it's important to be aware of that. Kind of all hippie, my spouse was not on board for the first two years of keto. He was openly skeptical, but I just kept going. Six years in, he is enthusiastically carnivore. That's nice. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh, Nicole says, man, if you sneeze the wrong way, you lose subs. Do the vids you want, Dave. Your true friends will watch. True. Um, that's a good point, Nicole. Thank you. Um, okay. And TJ Riley, my neighbor just came back from a vacation in the Caribbean with a case of gout. Oh, I'd like to tell him to eat carnivore diet, but he's 91 years old, so I'll let him be. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. There, there's so many situations like that where you want to kind of just go and say to people, look, I've got an answer for you. But, um, you know, um, it's... When he's 91, I mean, um, is he going to change? I don't know. And I, I think a lot of people maybe don't appreciate it when when people come up to them and offer them a solution. Because I think I know myself when someone comes up to me and says, I've got a solution. You can try this and this is going to fix all your problems. I instantly kind of go, <laughs> hang on, hang on what's the money angle to this? When are you going to start selling me something? And so I think a lot of people are naturally defensive like that as well. Um, when we might approach them and say, Hey, you know, even though we're not selling anything, we've got absolutely nothing to sell. Um, it can feel like that because generally in life, everyone has something to sell. Um, okay. And aid, how you doing? Just sitting down to eat some fatty lamb chops. Nice. Awesome. Okay. And John says, I'm great. My usual look cranky self. Just joking. <laughs> um, Nicole says, Dave, we are overdue on live reaction. Yes, let's set one up. Um, if you want to do one on the Friday night, I am totally like Friday night kind of us time i am totally down for that um and uh i think recently there's been quite a few good ones that we could react to as well from people like uh dr barnyard or um or our favorite nutritionist um or dietitian i'm not sure which she is dietitian <laughs> um okay um and Whitney Napier, speaking of subscribers, you're almost at 50K. Yes, it's elusive. It's just between 40 and 50. That's been my longest stretch. It, it was pretty quick to get to about 40. And that 40 to 50 is just taking forever. And I mean, it means nothing Well, if I get to 50K. It's just symbolic. You know, it's just one of those things. It's like, you know, it'd be nice to get there. It'd be nice to cross that cross that uh, barrier or threshold or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's it's been a slog. It's been a slog. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Good question, Dave. Do you want to chit chat or do reaction? Reactions are always fun. If you can find someone. You know. Um, actually, good point. You know what? I reckon, why don't we, uh, you know, have some kind of backup kind of, uh, stuff we can react to and then just start with general chit chat and then we just see where it goes. And uh, if we want to, you know, put someone on and react to them for 10 minutes or something, we can do that. Maybe that's the way to go. Um, and uh, yeah, as far as Friday nights go, I'm I'm pretty open. Most of my Saturday morning, that's Saturday morning, my time, most of those uh, Saturday mornings, I'm pretty free at the moment. Um, okay, and Rick's in the house. How you doing, Rick? It's duck fighting time. 
How you doing, Rick? Um, react to Shane Snake Oil Sterling. Who's Shane Snake Oil Sterling? S Shane Sterling. I need to look uh, look him up. Okay, uh, Sandra, Dave, did you see Laura Healthy Carnivore on Adam's channel? Carnivore today. She talked about a patient who was diabetic and had his leg amputated below the knee. He's great now. I didn't see that one. I'll have to check that out. Okay. Yeah, Adam does some good interviews as well. Uh, I'll have to check that out. Um, and there's a follow-on. Laura didn't name names, but it would be great if that former diabetic would come on for an interview. I'd love hearing testimonials like that. Yeah, definitely. And Mark says, Dr. Rebefnad. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Um, how about Belshine interview former fat girl? That would be awesome. That would be that would be good. Yeah, that would be good. Um, I'm sure Belshine would be up for that. Uh, and how big a part of your life is YouTube every day? Yeah, I mean, it's it's daily. It's every day at the moment, like a lot. Um, and it's just, it, that's just because it's become a bit of a labor of love for me. Fortunately, um, I mean, YouTube isn't going to, isn't going to, you know, look after me uh, as far as paying the bills and stuff like that. Um, so fortunately, I had a few kind of uh, investments and stuff set up um, over 10 years ago, and I'm able to rely on those at the moment. Um, but uh, while I'm doing that, this is, uh, you know, just uh, a labor of love that I've, uh, that I'm really starting to enjoy. And I enjoy the interaction, you know, um, for example, this live stream, I had no intention of doing this until, you know, a couple of hours before I saw that that five minute motivation video was uh, proving pretty popular and I thought, okay, well, I'll just jump on and say hello to everyone. And, uh, yeah, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, Nicole, let's let's do a Nicole uh, Belshine face-off. That would be pretty funny. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, Carnivan Meat Eaters. Any suggestions for someone struggling with under-eating, allergic to eggs, and feel stuffed easily? Um, I don't know. I, I'd probably just be uh, going, trying to do as much as I can along the same lines as Limitless Lindy and just eating more times during the day um, to, to try and stay full or, or to try and get, uh, get the right amount of fat and protein in. Um, you know, uh, just small meals often rather than um, try and get everything down at once. Um, for me personally, the getting everything down at once, the only reason I like that really is um, because, well, of course it tastes good until it doesn't, but um, the the real reason is just it saves me time during the day because I don't have to think about food anymore. Um, and Rick says he's good, just been busy. Um, Shane Sterling, the raw vegan rising. He's real. Oh, I've got to write that down. Raw, ve raw vegan rising. I'm doing so, I've done so many interviews. Whenever I'm talking, I've always got the pen in my hand now. Got to put it down. So, um, Dave robbed a bank and he's mega rich. <laughs> um, so John Mortimer, that Barnard needs flushing, but did a fairly good job, but it all helps. But yeah, uh, you know, of of the doctors, you know, like um, Michael Greger kind of drives me up the wall because he just seems blissfully ignorant to everything. And he just, but Neil Barnard, um, when I, 
I saw the reaction that Bart did, and there are some funny moments in there when Bart's reacting to some of the stuff he said. Um, it's just, you know, you got to sit through the three parts, but there are some funny bits in each of them. Um, and um, <laughs> the Neil Barnard just says the most random things that are provably false. And yeah, so I I I really dislike him. Um so Mark says Dr. Barnard, fake broccoli and carrot breakfast. <laughs> uh Brooke has a question. What are your favorite influences who are not part of the carnival community? So you're talking influences in influences in any niche? Um, like who I watch outside of, um, outside of diet kind of things. Um, names that come to mind. I like watching Coffeezilla. Um, and he's got a new channel now. And actually, I'm liking his new channel a little bit more than the main Coffeezilla channel. And the reason I'm liking his new channel more is because it's um, it harkens back to the way he originally was on his channel when things weren't so polished and he was just kind of laughing about scammers and all that kind of thing. So, um, you know, and taking the mickey out of scammers and stuff. So um, his new channel is called Voidzilla. And, you know, so he's uh, he's up there with people I watch, like Patrick Boyle, um, because I like his sense of humor. I'm, I'm not really much of a, I'm not into finance and investing and stuff like that. I just, Patrick Boyle's got a really cool sense of humor um, and he delivers it so dryly. Um, and who else? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Uh, if any other names come to mind, I'll I'll um I'll let you know. But that's outside of the carnival space. I mean, majority of the people I watch these days are in the carnival space. But yeah, um, I still I still got a little bit of a little bit of time. So like, if I'm cooking breakfast and there's no there's no long form kind of uh, you know Bart K reaction to someone or um, someone's live stream or something while I'm making breakfast or whatever. Um, then uh, I'll, I'll tune into like um, Coffeezilla or someone like that. Um, used to watch Spencer Cornelia as well, but Spencer Cornelia's videos have kind of changed a lot too. And I'm not too crazy about his new style of videos. And um, yeah. Um, dun, dun, dun. What else? What else? Any more questions here, guys? Um, uh, Aid says, my biggest influences and inspirations are cow, sheep, and goat. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. And what is Rick saying? Once I figure out how I want to make a review of videos about a heart attack grill. Yes. Um, DC says, <laughs> Barnard and Gregor are both slime. Yeah. C both cut from the same cloth. Um, okay. And John says, anyone else read about Dr. Salisbury? He's kind of a diet back in um, 1890s. Yeah, I think the Salisbury diet, yeah. Um, I, br briefly, I, it's somewhat keto, right? Or, I think. Um, okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> got some that i'm not going to put on screen just because they're funny but um just uh in case youtube has a hissy fit um it's been quite sensitive with my live streams recently so i have to be careful about what i put on screen <laughs> um okay so um guys any more questions comments anything and uh I i'll get to them in the next couple of minutes um and oh, here we go. Good question from Anna. Are you still losing inches? Maybe not weight by inches. Now, my my weight has been flat. It has not moved. Uh, the first time in my life, my weight 
has just um, it's up and down a pound here and there, but I don't weigh myself. I only um, was weighing myself for a week recently um, just to see how things were going. And I noticed this like little fluctuations, but um, it just, it basically doesn't move and it hasn't moved for, I don't know, 15 months, something like that is when, you know, since I stopped eating cheese, when I had that like sudden and everything was gone, it's like, yeah, nothing, nothing has moved. It's been awesome. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, yay carnivore. It's if you stick to carnivore, you eventually get to a point where your weight's just stable. Um, and Brooke says, it would get you to 500k subscribers if you could possibly get Michaela Peterson on. Have you tried to reach out to her? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've sent emails to a lot of people, including Michaela Peterson, um, both about, uh, you know, um, please come on my channel and I, I'll offer myself up to your channel as well. And um, yeah, I, uh, I haven't heard back. So, <laughs> and I'm not holding my breath. So, um, you know, it'd be great to, it'd be great to have her on and hear from her, but you know, I'm sure she gets a, a hundred besquillion emails every day and, um, for people either asking her to come on their channels or just fan mail or whatever. So, yeah. Um, you know, maybe once I get to 50 K, she'll take me seriously. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. And, uh, some, Actually, some news, guys. Um, I may be in Australia in November. Um, and so um, I, the details are to be firmed up, but I um, might be speaking at, at an event in, um, in part of Australia. I will only say that much so far. Um, and um, so uh, if that all goes ahead smoothly then uh, i might be able to do some meetups around the place so um yeah that's good and dave did you find you naturally ate more when at a comfortable weight it didn't it didn't really change um i mean things are up and down like some days i'll feel more hungry than others but um it hasn't really changed and uh, th this is this is what uh, it still boggles my mind like that i can maintain this weight um that i can uh, i can just keep on this way of eating and the same thing day in day out feel better than i ever have before and it's just you know it's great life is good you know um do 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 where are we Sorry, that jumped. Um, how about interview celebrities? Um, yeah, I'm I'm open to interviewing everyone. Um, I've had doctors, you know, carnivore doctors and um, people on my channel as well, you know, people who are influential in the kind of low carb or or spaces that we we would be in naturally. Um, but also I'd be happy to have people on who are celebrities or, um, but yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, are they going to respond to my emails and, you know, um, you know, so this is a hint. I need more subscribers. Help me out guys. If you haven't subscribed already, click subscribe. Um, John, are you on Facebook? Yes, I am. Um, there I, i've got a i've got a group now um which is it's just called no carb life i think yeah no carb life so um yeah you can find me on facebook and then of course you know if you find no carb life the group no carb life you'll see me there too um <laughs> it says i don't get any emails because everyone hates me i don't know why <laughs> Um, 
maybe maybe coming to queensland um i i don't want to i don't want to let the location go yet because not it's not 100 percent confirmed yet but uh um yeah i uh i may be uh in in parts of australia uh, <laughs> um and aid's question do you intend to go to low carb down under 2024 that depends on my schedule and and uh, my ability to get to australia multiple times this year so maybe i'm not sure and I'm, i think it's in perth this year so um yeah i need to check on a few things logistically um uh da, 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 da. and would certainly support you in visiting australia cheers Anne. um and Rick says, don't worry, no one emails me either. I email you, Rick. I email you. <laughs> um, okay. And where are we? <laughs> Aid says, I think I'm dead because of my diet. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, I, I feel like uh, everyone's like that. Um, kind of thing everyone almost like shaking their head like oh no it's only a matter of time before dave dave keels over from a heart attack um <laughs> bridget how you doing hey dave one of the essentials that i could not think of when we were talking is feel tiny differences appreciate small changes very subtle small changes goes for everything that's a really good point um, that that's uh, a really important thing there, Bridget. Um, we really do need to appreciate the small things, the small changes. And um, all of those small changes really do add up to massive improvements in your life over time. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a very important message, Bridget. Thank you. Um, and uh rick says i died decades ago <laughs> yep well it's that heart attack diet that crazy heart attack diet that you're doing rick um yeah so guys we've been going for an hour i need to uh i need to pop off i've got an interview coming up shortly that i need to get organized for and um if you haven't already please uh please check out the video below and uh, the first link in the description, that's your five minutes of carnival motivation. Please comment on that video. Let me know if you like it or not. And um, if, uh, if you, you find it motivating and enjoyable, I can uh, definitely get more of those going as well. And um, thank you very much for your chats, your questions, and, uh, and joining me for the last hour. And have a great day or evening, depending on or afternoon, depending on what part of the world you're in. And uh, I will see you all soon. Cheers, guys. <laughs>